Hi, my name is Mary Ann Herring, and I'm the Perkins Grant Coordinator for Coastal Carolina Community College. During 2016-2017, one of the focus areas that we used for our Perkins Grant was in our dental department, particularly our dental hygiene program. One of our best practices that we're going to focus on was to help students develop those critical skills and competencies that they need in order to perform to go to work. One of the things that we purchased was dental simulation kits. To tell us a little bit more about those kits is Katherine Carter, one of our dental instructors. Thanks, Marianne. Um, we purchased these new current technology mannequins that are great for a couple of purposes. One, we can t use them to teach the student their very beginning skills. And then along the way, if they've got any challenges, we use them during our skills lab, which is extra time to help the students, you know, because it's struggling. Learning to do these eye-hand coordination things is sometimes a challenge. And then as the students advance during the program, we were fortunate enough to get money to purchase the artificial calculus kits where Mrs. Rose and I can actually construct and make artificial calculus and put it on the, the teeth so that the students can learn detection and then removal. And then a further step is as they get to the more advanced stages in the second year where they're using the ultrasonic. The ultrasonic instrumentation has water that collects in the patient's mouth and these mannequins are great because we can teach them suction and everything that goes with it. And then we have these models too that were the third part of the purchase which demonstrate advanced periodontal disease with the patient and you can see here where we've applied some of this black calculus so the students can practice very intricate um, instrumentation on the uh, exposed root surfaces of the dentition. And what better way to uh, learn a little bit more about how this works is we're going to have one of our students, Elizabeth Oles, and she's going to demonstrate how to use these. So now I'm just demonstrating the use of what we call a cavatron. It's a tool that uses water and vibration to remove heavier deposits, something that we learned during second year. And it's really useful to have these models, these specific ones, because you can use water in them without it flowing out the sides. It's, in the, it's realistic in the same ways as what I, the other things I demonstrated. It's, just, it's the same calculus, it's just now I'm able to use this um, with this model because I can use the water, that's all. Lizzie, thank you so much for showing us how the simulators work. You're welcome. If you would, tell us how has using the simulators helped you to develop those specific competencies and skills that you needed to go to the workplace? These types of things help us develop our skills and prepare us for real world situations. So we are going to see things like periodontal disease and we are going to see things like calculus. Obviously, that's what we work with. So it helps to be able to start early on because in the first semester, first couple semesters, you know, we'll be working on each other or we'll be seeing very easy patients. So once we get to the fall is when we start to see the real harder patients and we need to be prepared for that. So we are able to practice with these types of things so we're a little more ready before we get to a real patient. So tell me a little bit about the difference between this particular level of simulator and one of the older ones that you had in the past. So one of the older ones that we use, still a very good tool. Um, he wasn't able to hold water, so we weren't able to use the um, Capitron machine on him, just our regular instruments. So the fact that we're able to do that now is a great tool because we can practice on him with the water. So did this help your confidence level before you started on real patients? Definitely helped my confidence level for sure, yeah. Those, they're kind of intimidating, but once you get used to it, you know, it's good. You're going to graduate in May. I am, so yes. How has this helped prepare you for the workplace in a dental office? It's helped, um, you know, alongside all of my other curriculum and practices and things like that, just help me um, kind of go through the levels of this program. So you start by working at, on these types of things and then working on our peer partners and then, you know, we come back to these when we learn the new skills like the Cavatron and then we go back to working on real patients as well. So it kind of just helps go through each little stage of my learning process. Well, you've definitely demonstrated that you have learned a lot. We wish you the best in your future. Thank you so much.